Hi everybody, Cheaply Chic, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Today I am here to share with you the March collection release called Home Sweet Home. I'm so excited about this collection. I know, I know I say that all the time, but I'm really excited about this one, you guys. I think this one is going to be so much fun. So if you missed it, yesterday I shared a video where I shared extra ephemera packs and things that you can pick up if you're interested. I will link that video in the description box down below if you wanna check it out. Today I'm going to share with you the main collection. So I have a lot of new people on my channel that have reached out and said hello. So hi, thank you so much for being part of my channel. Thank you for asking questions about the collection. I appreciate everyone so very much. Just to give everybody a rundown who is new, these monthly collections always come with a kit and a blank traveler size notebook journal. I decorate the outside to match the theme and then there are a bunch of papers inside that I will show you here in a minute that you can decorate yourself. I try to include enough things in the kit to get you started but of course you can use anything from your stash that you wish. It's just a fun little thing to do on a monthly basis. The journals are small enough that you can use it for the month, use it for something special and then you know the following month we usually have something new so just a lot of fun I've gotten a lot of feedback about this being a lot of fun so everyone who has been with me thank you so much I appreciate all of you so much I appreciate your kind words and just your excitement over these with me I just love all of you all right so the journal measures approximately four and a half inches wide and it is eight and a half inches tall it fits great in a webster's pages traveler's notebook if you want to pick one of those up at hobby lobby or joann's or something or it's pretty enough to be used on its own so this paper line that i used this time this is from cartabella and it is called farm to table it's still available and it is an adorable paper line when i saw it i couldn't resist I couldn't resist. So the inside is this orange gingham color and this fabric matches beautifully. This was a French piece of fabric and I thought it was awesome. And it's like, if you felt the piece of fabric that I got it from, it's just so luxurious and soft. I just loved it. And I think it has a great country, French country type flair. I used a piece of tan lace here, a little doily cut apart, and then the Home Sweet Home title here on the bottom. And I left this a little more plain. I didn't do a lot of layering because I felt like the patterns were so pronounced. I didn't want to take away from that and add too much to that. So, And I didn't want to cover up the chickens because they're so cute. I wanted them to be on the front. So getting into the journal, but I do wanna say, you guys, before I get started, in case anybody checks out of this video, this will be the last collection, probably for a few months. It's not going anywhere, I'm not quitting. We just have a lot going on. As soon as I'm done with this release, there's actually going to be two bathroom remodels in my house and we have to re-carpet my craft room. So it's going to get crazy, and at first I wanted to keep going. I have collections lined up already. I have, you know, the paper lines and everything. The realization has struck <laughs> that I need to take a break from this and work on some house projects. But that kind of gives me hope that I'm going to be doing some other things as well, possibly more videos when I have the time. So I'm super excited about that. I know that it is disappointing about the collections, but I promise you they're not going anywhere. I will be back with more and out. It'll, it'll all make sense probably within the next couple of weeks when I can share a little bit more. But yeah, just to give you guys a heads up, there will be a little break in the production of these kits for a little bit. All right, so getting into this journal. There are 15 sheets of paper in here, which makes side to side, 60 pages all together. There is coffee dyed paper here, or tea stained paper here, half of a music sheet, tea stained paper. This is a gardening book page. My thoughts with this collection are that it would make a wonderful garden planning journal. I know we're all getting to that season again. Some of you might already be there. I'm super jealous, but here in Indiana, 
we still have a couple months <laughs> for some main gardening type things. But yes, this would make a great gardening journal, a fabulous recipe journal, memories, you know, from childhood or your grandparents or whatever strikes you when you see a collection like this. I'm just, I'm so excited. All right. So this is a gardening book page here, tea stain paper. There are some vintage can labels in this kit. I fell in love with these. I ordered enough to include in either the book or the kit, but I fell in love with them when they showed up that I bought the guys like last kit. So there is enough that I have included too, because seriously, you guys wait until you see these. <laughs> so I had extras. I wanted to find a way to fit it in the journal as well. If you do not like this folded label in here, you can cut this out and use it as a piece of ephemera or a pocket somewhere in your journal. But yeah, I'm just in love with these. This one even has some embossing on it. They are all different. The package that I received had a bunch of just different varieties in there. So I think you'll enjoy that as much as I do. Tea stain paper, half a sheet of heart paper. There is a vintage recipe page here. Tea stain paper, ledger paper, tea stain paper, a red polka dot bag, some graph paper, and tea stain paper. And then we reach the center of the signature. I always leave the strings a little long. Some people like them with things dangling out, but you can cut it how you want. So moving backwards through the journal, this ledger paper folds out. There's the recipe book page, the heart paper. And here's the other side of that vintage can label. Tiny green lima beans. Just love them. Oh my goodness. The other side of that gardening page. Coffee dyed paper, music paper, and coffee dyed paper. So that is the Traveler's Notebook. And it is tied closed with a piece of orange seam binding. Okay, so getting into the elements in the kit. I'm gonna start with the wallpaper sample. So this is a piece of wallpaper. It's an older style. It definitely reminded me of an older country kitchen. So this will be a lot of fun. You can cut it up into pockets or tags or make an envelope out of it. There is an old music book page in here. I love playing around with old music paper. Some of them even have little dates here from when they were practiced, which was literally almost 100 years ago. Can you believe that? That is amazing. That's why we love this, right? That's why we love junk journaling. <laughs> there is another one of those gardening book pages. You can cut this one up and make some tags out of if you choose. There's a book page out of an old Better Homes and Gardens canning book. Another gardening book page. There is a large print dictionary page. And then there are two more old recipe book pages. These are from like a community book here in my area, like a church recipe book. This one has green print and this one has brown print. So those are all the book pages. I also always include six by six pieces of scrapbook paper. And this is from that Cartabella line, again, farm to table. There's this really cute mason jar page. I thought these would be a lot of fun. You could fussy cut all of those out if you wanted to and use them as embellishments. But then again, there's the bag with all those awesome veggies and fruits. I love that piece. And then there's this piece with some cows and pigs and chickens. Love those. There are two napkins for decoupage. I saw this, so I thought that would make a nice background with some of these colors. Large piece of red polka dot. And then there is this napkin, and I am in love with this. This will be so awesome for decoupaging all of those little farm animals on there. There is a red CD sleeve. This is a full size CD sleeve. And then you guys, another one of those can labels. They are all different. Well, there's at least a few different styles. This one is faultless, 
whole red beads. Again, from that same company. And this is a vintage, authentic label that was never used. So this would be awesome for tags or pockets or anything, right? Oh, love it. Okay, and then there is this bag here, this green polka dot bag. And on the front is paper clipped, a vintage seed packet that again was never used, but it is real and it is a beat. Everyone gets the same one of these. Crosby's Egyptian beat. There's a paper doily. There are a few cut aparts from that collection in here. They are all different, but they all match that same farm theme. There is another seed packet in here. This one is green curled endive. Is that how you say that? <laughs> there is a vintage recipe card. One glassine envelope. There is a brown craft paper seed packet. One library card and pocket. There is one blank manila tag. And then there is one that I stamped for you already. This one says made with love. And look at that sweet little cow down there. <laughs> love those. There's an alteration tag in here. One green guest check. And then I always use the extra paper left over from making the journals. So you get this little tag with all of these great chickens on there. All right, so that is everything in that green bag. Then there is a smaller bag here and clipped to the front is this old set of cards I found that I just love. It's from a produce company, has the little chickens on there and it's just an old playing card. All right, so everything in this little glassine bag here, there are four yellow vintage tickets, a strip of three white tickets. There are two smaller manila tags that are on the strings two smaller green price tags. There are two mason jar labels. This is something you would write after you canned, but of course it's awesome for anything. There is a yellow claim check, two brown mason jar tags, and then there are a few punches in here that I've made with the paper. So there are some mason jar punches here. There's a scallop circle, a couple smaller, circles and I'll talk about those in a minute. And then there are the four hearts, which I really tried to get. I really took time with this and tried to get all the little chicks or a chicken head on there. It's the little things. And then just a few little banner punches there. There's always a little bag of fibers that match the collection. So you could use these on the top of your tag or on paper clips. I've seen people make tassels out of them. It's just great to have a little bit of fibers that you can use that already match. And then clipped onto those fibers is another little glassine bag and there are two gold paper clips in there. There's always a beaded bookmark that I enjoy creating and including. So these are super cute dangling outside of your journal on your shelf, especially once you started collecting a few of them. They are so much fun. So just an added little touch there. And then there's a little bit of ephemera here that I thought could be fun. So there is a Tim Holtz milk cap. They are all different, but I definitely felt like those match the collection well. There's a safety pin in here that doesn't have the little spring. I forget what those are called, but you could add some sequins or beads to that. And then there is a white bottle cap and the sticker that goes with it. So these were cut to one inch. If you didn't do anything else, but add one of those little chickens or roosters, whatever he is, or if you have your own one inch circle punch, you could add whatever you wanted, but I thought those were a lot of fun. And then if you found a way and you wanted to decorate your cover a little bit more than I have it decorated, either with the safety pin embellishment or the bottle cap, that would be great too. All right, you guys, and that is everything that is included in the Home Sweet Home collection. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Like I always mention, anyone who orders the collection in the first 24 hours will get an extra goodie pack that goes along with this as a thank you from me. Also, Etsy, for those of you who are new, Etsy has a weird way of calculating shipping. So if you are 
Like if you're buying multiple listings, Etsy will over calculate the shipping. Um, don't be afraid of that. I will refund you within the next couple of days as I'm packing up the orders, any extra shipping that is charged. So I just wanted to give you a heads up. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to me on Etsy. Any questions, any situations that arise when placing your order, it's easiest to get a hold of me on Etsy because I get a notification for that and not commenting on this video if you need to get a hold of me right away. So yes, and like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this will be the last collection probably for at least three months and I will have more information on all of that in the next couple of weeks. So. It'll all come together and it'll all make sense if you haven't already put two and two together in your mind, <laughs> which isn't that hard to do, but that's all right. Yeah, I'll be able to talk more freely in a couple weeks. So thank you guys so much. I hope I didn't forget anything. I usually do. There is a design team that will be working in this collection. It's always great to get a little added inspiration. So those links will be in the description box down below. I There are some amazingly creative women that play around in these collections and I'm so very grateful for them. I actually have a guest designer this month for the collection. I'm super excited. Kara Brandon is going to be designing in this kit and sharing at least one video, whether that is, you know, a process video or even just a completed project or whatever. The freedom is hers to do with as she chooses, but I'm super excited about that. So be sure to go subscribe to her, check out her channel. And I will also have a video or two to share with you guys. There is also a Facebook group if you want any added inspiration. Sometimes ladies share over there the things that they're doing or how they're using their journals. And I just love seeing how you guys use your journals. So don't be afraid to share if you have collections and you haven't shared in the Facebook group. Please don't be afraid to share. We all love to see. I love to see. Feel free to go join that group if you would be interested. I'm also going to mention it here. I'm going to be doing a lot of de-stashing over the next few months. Be on the lookout for that. Be sure that you have hit the bell notification if you are interested in seeing some of the things that I am getting rid of out of my craft room and you might be interested. So <laughs> thank you guys so much for sticking with me through the end of this video. I appreciate all of you. Thank you in advance to those that are going to purchase this collection. Again, all of this, this video is being posted in the 11 o'clock hour for me here in Indiana, Eastern Standard Time, and the kit will release at noon, 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. They typically sell out pretty quickly, just to give you a heads up with that. That's why I'm posting this video early. I didn't use to, but all right, you guys, that's it. I'll quit rambling. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.